The Sims Medieval is a brand new game from The Sims Studio starring The Sims. I'm Rachel Bernstein. I'm the senior producer on The Sims Medieval and I'm here to give you an overview of the game. So to give you an overview of what The Sims Medieval is, of course it's starring The Sims, it's set in a medieval period, and we're very excited about it. We've got a lot of new technology in the game. It introduces a whole new environment and a whole new way to play The Sims. The arc of the game is built around the idea of having hero sims, quests that they go on, and a kingdom ambition that you're trying to achieve for your kingdom. Each time you go into the game, you're going to go on to a quest. A quest is just a story idea. Uh, the sims not only are on their quests, where they have some big kingdom level goal that they're trying to achieve, but they're also going about their daily lives with their professional responsibilities. One thing we're really excited about with The Sims Medieval is we've thought a lot about how do we support storytelling for the player and how do we give goals for the player who likes to have goals and how do we give a sort of sandbox experience for players who want to do more with the everyday lives of their Sims. And the quests are the key to that. Um, as you're going through a quest, there are various story points that come up that give you ideas of what each of your characters that you're playing on that quest need to do next to help move the story along. When you finish a quest, you earn several different types of rewards. One of them is that you're given an achievement for doing that quest. It could be a platinum achievement or gold, silver, or bronze. Uh, you also earn kingdom points, which you spend to expand your kingdom. You bring in new heroes and new buildings, which open up new quest opportunities for you. And eventually, you use up all of your quest points and you've finished your playthrough of that game and you're given an achievement of how well you achieved your kingdom ambition. We're really excited about the art direction for The Sims Medieval. We thought a lot about what do we want our medieval world to look like. And we realized that we're not historians. Our idea of what medieval looks like comes from storybooks and from movies. And we wanted to capture that sort of fantasy storybook look that we're all familiar with, which means that we wanted everything in the game to have a very painterly quality, to have all the textures look hand-painted, nothing to look too photorealistic. We wanted the outfits to look very handcrafted and rustic. We also worked a lot with the lighting. We think of medieval times as a time when there might have been very dark rooms with pools of light where a uh, torch sconce is flickering against the wall. So we have a very broad dynamic range in this game, very bright areas in the sunlight and very dark areas as well. We've also worked with the look of the Sims themselves. We're using a technology called subsurface scattering, which gives the Sims a sort of rosy glow under their cheeks. And we've done tech to make their eyes look more lifelike. Um, so all throughout the game, we want to create this immersive storybook world through a new art style for the Sims medieval. With The Sims Medieval, we have a brand new look that is very different than anything that we've done in The Sims Studio before. One of the important ways that you customize your world in The Sims Medieval and show your creativity is how you choose to craft your characters. Every time you expand your kingdom and you bring in a new building, you bring in a new hero sim. If you're not interested in crafting your characters, you can just pick a default male or default female and get back into your game. But if what you want to do is really tweak the personalities and the looks of your character, you go into create a sim. You pick their outfits, you can customize them, and you pick their personality traits as well. Each sim has two personality traits and a third thing called their fatal flaw. And if you want to, during the course of the game, you can have your sim go on a quest and try to convert their fatal flaw into a legendary trait that will help them rather than hurt them. The medieval time period has proven to be a really rich, fertile ground for us in making The Sims medieval, and there's a lot more really fun areas of that time period to explore. We're confident in The Sims medieval and believe it will be the start of a new series.